Hi everyone! So I decided that I'm going to go ahead and do a quick video on how to oxidize your pendants. So what I have in front of me, this is hot water. I let my water in the sink get as hot as it can be and then I um, put a, about an inch, inch and a half of water in there. And then this is water with baking soda solution. And then you have liver of sulfur. And this you can get on Amazon for fairly cheap. This is actually what's going to cause the oxidation. And then I would prefer tongs, but I have chopsticks. This is how I get it from uh, the oxidation bath into the uh, baking soda. So what you're going to do is you're going to put a few drops of the liver of sulfur. It's pretty stinky, which is why we do it outside. It smells like raw eggs. So I'm just going to mix that up really well. And then you're going to take your pendants and you're going to drop them in. Most of my pendants are bare copper, but you can also put sterling silver or silver filled, which I think I have one pendant that is. Basically, you're just going to let these guys sit in this bath until they get as dark as you'd like. The hotter the water, um, the faster the oxidation will, um, will take. However, you don't want it to exceed, um, I believe, like 140 degrees. You, want it, you don't want it to get too hot because then that's when it can apparently be bad for you to breathe in. So, as they're sitting in here, I just kind of check on them every now and then. So as you can see, it's starting to get a little bit darker. Sorry, my chopstick skills are really bad, which is why I really should buy some tongs. I don't know why. Some of them do oxidize faster in the bath than others. So we just sit here and we wait. Shouldn't take too long. See, they're starting to darken pretty quickly. So I don't use gloves, but you're more than welcome to, of course. It's not really, it's not bad for you. I mean, obviously don't. Don't get it in your mouth. Wash your hands after you use it. <clears throat> okay, so starting to like that, the look at that. I like it when it gets really dark the most. So I'm gonna move that over into the baking soda bath. So you just pick them up whenever you're ready. That's it, it's pretty simple. It doesn't take long at all for it to actually oxidize. And then you just take them out as they finish up. it. So that's what they look like when they're oxidized. They're just nice and dark. That's what happens naturally. The oxidation process from just being out and about. But um, what I like to do is speed up that process and then I'm going to hand polish these with a, uh, a steel wool. 
and I'm going to show that to you in another video. I actually already have a video uh, taped for um, for that, so it'll be different pendants that you'll see on that uh, video. But um, take a look. I'll have part two down in the description below, as well as up in the cards. So um, if you'd like to see the next part of this process, be sure to click there. And if you liked this video and it was helpful to you, just hit the thumbs up button and be sure to subscribe. I'd love to make more videos, more tutorials, and um, I will be vlogging my craft show experiences as well. So thanks so much and have a great day. Bye. I just realized I did not actually tell you what to do with the solution once you're done. So basically what you want to do with this is just leave it outside and let it sit for about 24 hours. And what's going to happen is it's going to go from yellow to clear. Once it is clear, then it is actually safe to just throw it into your plants. Apparently, like tomato plants and all that really love this and it's 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 at that point it's at, at a basic level so it's not going to be harmful um, so just wait until this yellow turns clear and then you can dump it and then you're good for next time all right I think that was it if you have any questions that I seem to have missed just leave them in the comments below and I'll definitely answer for you guys all right thanks bye again <laughs>